come and join me for a little stroll. It's lunchtime, it was one o'clock, something like that on Sunday. I'm hungry, right? But I don't want a sandwich or, or any of the sort of stuff I probably should be eating. I fancy a bowl of sort of crunchy nut cornflakes or, or frosties will do. One of the two. Um, a bit of cold milk on them. Not really a traditional Sunday lunch. I'll be able to say it better later on, but um, but that's why I'm not sat in a man cave talking to you now about right backs. So you have to join me on the world. We'll talk about it as we as we go along, basically. Um, I just think the situation at the moment with the right backs, I think it seems there's a little bit more to the story, basically. So today, it seems like a Gonzalo Montiel, you remember him? The Argentinian, right back, looked really good. Go and have a little look on YouTube. Decent, decent player, good technique, good crossing. We were definitely interested in him. His agent has come out and made a public statement. Saying that there was definitely interest from West Ham. And saying that um, we, had, we had bid to pay 10 million after an initial loan agreement. Now that, that very much sounds like one of Sullivan's sort of, let's have a little sit on this wall, shall we? That very much sounds like one of Sullivan's sort of deals, doesn't it, you know? Little loan period up front, 10 million afterwards, and um, and it seals the deal. But his agent says, well, there's not actually any football going on in Argentina at the moment. No surprise, there ain't many places with any football going on. But he said something I thought which was really quite important, which was, bearing in mind there's no football in Argentina, I think we'll pretty much have to accept whatever offer comes our way. And he said there were a number of clubs interested, but it was only really West Ham who had given the only firm offer. So, um, we, I, all it does is it shows to me that there was interest. Have, have things changed? Yes, would we now pay £10 million for a right back? No, I think not. But he's already said that the price will be reduced. Now, we know because publicly Matty Cash had said there had been interest as well. We know West Ham were interested. So, as I said before, we know David Moyes was in the market for a right back. So clearly David Moyes didn't feel it and Gakia was somebody that was going was gonna to command a regular first team starting spot. Maybe that's why Gakia didn't want to sign. But maybe Moyes just didn't think he was ready yet. Maybe he thought he was there just as an understudy. Well, you know what, if you need an understudy, he's got Ben Johnson there. I think maybe he possibly wanted to get rid of Ryan Fredericks. But nobody's going to take Ryan Fredericks now. Because who's got... Is Ryan Fredericks going to take a pay cut? He's on 50 grand a week. No, and I don't blame him. I wouldn't take a pay cut either, to be perfectly honest with you. I don't blame Ryan Fredericks at all. But I also don't think another club is going to come and take him off our hands and get 50 grand a week. So basically, he's also our understudy. If, as you believe, we might well be in the market for another right back. I've got to say, actually, people are getting a lot closer together. An awful lot closer together. I think the two metres is becoming one metre. There you go. That one will do very nicely, I think. I wonder if they have crunchy nut cornflakes in Australia. Got to have them in the US. Kellogg's is, is American, right? I think it is. Anyway. anyway, right backs. Right backs. My point being that I think there's no negotiation for Ngakia. I think it's a case of the landscape's changed. We were looking for another right back, which indicates that Ngakia wasn't first choice. As I discussed, we can't get rid of Ryan Fredericks. We've got Ben Johnson there. If you're going to stay, it's going to have to be within the confines and the parameters of the wage structure. There's no point in them breaking the bank. Under normal circumstances, would it be prudent to basically extend the third choice right backs contract um, yes so as you don't have to buy a new one absolutely but maybe they're not buying a new one anyway maybe they get this Montiel on loan or a very very reduced fee or if not they're just going to go with Ryan Fredericks Did they, they, is that what they wanted ideally probably not but that was when everybody was going to the games and buying season tickets and on their day out was going to the club shop and the television money was absolutely guaranteed and stadiums were full and all that other stuff. At that point, were they willing to hold what is in essence three or four right backs on the book? Yes. But going forward, no. The only way they'll do it 
is if the money is sensible. And if the negotiations keep going up and up and up and the agent's fees are high and all that stuff, then I just don't blame the club for not doing it. Plainly and simply. That's about it, really. Little video today. Little walk in the sunshine. Nice day, hot. Hot day today. Might get some sun cream on.